Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Houghton's Computer Repair here with another video for you. As you see, I pretty much just opened up the properties underneath the folder. And you see a feature that's called sharing. Now sharing is a feature that allows you to pretty much share stuff through the network. Now technically this tab could be missing depending on there, like we're at a school or something like that. And it's pretty much set for a reason for this. Sharing files like this is also a very useful thing. So if you have a folder and everyone needs to have access to the files and they can all share it to the network for it. Now it's pretty much bad like we're at a school or like a university and everyone, let's say one student has a cheat sheet from a test that they took and they enabled the share folder and as long as that computer's onto the network and they know what the name of the computer is or the IP address of the computer, they should be able to access it and it all depends on how they created it. So if they created like a new share folder and they gave access to ownership, let's say we want to add everyone and then we say everyone. They can put read and write. They can just put it read if they want to. And that means that anyone from any user account can have access to this specific folder. So pretty much you probably want to be able to disable this so they won't have to do like this. Or if not, you want this to be back enabled for it. That someone might have changed this policy for you. Regardless, we're going to be showing you how to enable or disable the sharing tab in folder properties in Windows 10. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so first thing you do is pretty much go to start, and all we're going to do is on the search bar, type in reg edit, and press enter, and you'll probably be prompted for this. Go ahead and press yes, and let me go ahead and change this. It might look a little slightly different. I've actually been doing some registry changes myself, so that's why you're probably seeing this. Yours most likely would look something like this by default, like that. So what you're going to look for is going to a specific folder that is underneath H key classes root. So this folder right here, we're going to expand this and we're going to go, and this is a big list. You actually can select one and just type in a symbol, not really a symbol, select any folder, then select the character D and it'll bring us down to the D set selections right there. And we're going to look for down until you see called directory. So if I type in quick like DI, it started to bring it up here. And all I'm looking for is directory. Where is it at? DIR directory folder right there. You can scroll down and look for it too, but it's easier just to type in the keys. And we're going to go ahead and expand this folder now. And we're then going to go to one that's called Shell X. Go ahead and open up that folder. And we're going to see another folder that's called Property Sheet Handlers. Go ahead and select it and expand that. And you're going to see a folder called Sharing. And that's the folder right there. And all you have to do for this to work is pretty much delete this file. So watch this. I'm pretty much going to right click on that folder that's called sharing. And before I do this, I'm actually going to click this file just to copy this text for me. It'll make it easier for me. Press cancel. Now I'm pretty much going to go ahead and press delete this folder right here and press yes. So now when I try and go to file explorer, I might need to restart the computer for this to first apply for this. Regardless, I'm going to give it a try properties. And I don't have that options for sharing. It is now actually missing underneath here. So that sharing feature is literally gone underneath the folder. So I'm like, well, how can I get to it back? So pretty simple. If we're at the same location, I'm pretty much going to go ahead and expand this back, pretending like if you don't have it, and it'll pretty much look like this. You'll pretty much go to start again, type in reg edit. I'm not even typing reg edit. There it is. You will possibly prompt it. Go ahead and press yes. I still opened it up where I was last at. Let's give it a second. It seems that it's taking, there it is. So again, this is what it would look like. You're going to go to H key classes root. And again, to get this back, just select one of these and just type in DI. Actually, I type this DIR quick. It brings me even quicker right here to the location. There's directory. And I'm going to go ahead and expand it again. We need to open up the folder called shell X. And underneath there, there's the property shell handlers right there. And again, I'm missing that folder, so we will need to create a new key. That's what it's called for the folder. And we're going to name this called sharing. Now, you would think that that is it, but it's not that simple. Once you did change this, I actually will leave the script for you. This is a very important registry for it. Uh, so there's the folder. And underneath the default, go ahead and click it. And on the value data, I'm going to go ahead and paste this. This is pretty much the specific value data for this to work. I actually will save it here underneath this video. And I'll have you the link for it. They can just copy and paste it. Press OK. And now pretty much it is now set. I'm actually going to go ahead and just close this up. I don't really need this anymore. That means next time if I work on a video, I won't see it like that. So there it is. So now if I come back to this and open up a folder, and if I select Properties, 
the sharing folder is now back again and it's fully functional for it to work. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching from Helton's Computer Repair and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video then hit that button but if you like it and you want to see more hit that like button, get subscribed, comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description and for the rest I will see you on the next video.